Okay, family, I'm back with another video. This is Essie the Gardener. So I think I explained to you guys what happened with my first round of seeding. Um, I did have some casualties. Some of them are doing okay. So what I'm going to do is try to salvage as many of them as I possibly can. Hopefully I can remember um, in some areas what was planted. I probably lost track of some of them, but most of them do still have their um, tags there. Um, so what I'm going to do is start filling up my um, red cup with some natural um, organic young plant mix. These are, this, this mix here is very good for seedlings. So um, I'm just going to fill up each one of my cups. And then after I finish that, I will like peel off the, the, uh, the lining on, on those over there. And hopefully I can um, reclaim those and they'll grow to be uh, strong and produce some fruit for me. But again, do not use those tiny uh, pea pellets. And that's the first time me using them to this magnitude. I did play with them when I first got them and just planted some pop soy in there. And um, they did really well, but for the most part, I don't really want to use those again. To me, it's just a it's a waste of money and um, a waste of time to wind up doing extra work. So um, I'm gonna check some of these tags and see what I have over here. Um, I'm gonna focus on what I see is strong first, and then um, those uh, the other ones in. And I probably will do whatever looks really bad. Like, see, I don't forgot what these were. I don't even know what that is. That's done. I don't even know what that is. That's done. That's done. Um, I don't even know what that is. That's done. So I kind of lost track on what was there. So, like, this this, this area right here is just done. It don't even make no sense to even try to salvage that. I might even throw those in the compost bin. Who knows? Maybe I'll have some wild growth over there. <laughs> but... So, being that this tag is here, and this one has a cucumber, I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with that first, and I'm gonna just go ahead and peel this back and take it out of this uh, this uh, skin. I call it skin, and just put it in there and add a little bit more soil around it, and give it some stability, and hopefully she can bounce back. I'm gonna get her buried in there deep. And hopefully she'll be able to bounce back and get some strength and get out of this kind of leggy. But yeah. So let me bring that stick up out of there so I know what that is. She done went all the way down there. Okay. So that's a cucumber. Cucumber bloom. Look, y'all, I'm not even sure what that is. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to be growing stuff and the fruit going to form, and I'll, that's when I'll find out. But you can see it really didn't have enough room to, uh, it didn't have enough room to really grow the way it wanted to grow, so. I want to bury that all the way so that it can get some strength. Hopefully that's a tomato. Some type of tomato. This is a nice starter mix. This is the first time I'm using that starter mix. It's very, very light and fluffy. And they say you want to look for that. Like I don't even know what this is, but it is definitely trying to grow. And I'm going to peel that out of there too. So... Again, I'll find out what a lot of things is as it grow. So, y'all guys, drop me a line. Give me some information about my citrus. Y'all see I up-potted my citrus today. Let me know your thoughts. Give me some comments. Give me some good feedback. Um... Maybe 
me some feedback about these little tiny pellets. That, what kind of experience you had with these little tiny pellets as well? Um, yeah, these are these. I, I definitely did not enjoy using these at all. So, and then there's a possibility. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to leave those in there, so it could have been my fault. But um, again, I want to garden smarter, not harder. So I don't want to pot everything. So even if I use the large peat pellets and just, you know, um, the uh, red cups, that's fine. At least once they germinate, they still have room to grow. And I can just, I can just actually just take them straight to the garden. I don't have to worry about uppotting nothing. Just take them straight to the garden. So. Again, I'm gonna beat the heat. Essie gonna beat the heat. Y'all ain't gonna see me out here sweating and, and out of breath. Not this, not this year. Um, let's see what this one. It say pancetta. That's probably right there. Or okay, this one say zucchini, but that zucchini is done. I don't even know what this is. Look, look what happened, y'all. It's just they just done. Those over there is just done. I'm not even gonna try to salvage none of those. Yeah. Hey, that's son number five. So I'm gonna bury her. I don't know why this one looks like a watermelon plant or a squash. I think it's a squash. Let me get her all the way down there. I saw another gardener say when your plants get leggy like, um, when it's chasing that light or something like that, when it's under the glow light and they get leggy, she said the, uh, who was that? Oh my goodness, it'll come to me which homesteader that was. But um, Homestead Heart, she said when they get leggy, and thank you for that Homestead Heart, she said when they get leggy, um, put them in the cup and bury them all the way up to that, that first kind of light, um, that first, uh, true leaf or something like that and I can see what it does it give them a little bit more stability and some strength so if you get leggy that would be good to do I'm not sure what this one is but um we're gonna get her strengthened up see how she started leaning to the left so I'm gonna get her all the way down there soil all the way up and get that strength in there and that stability okay I don't even know what's in there this one is probably a zucchini again hopefully I start getting to some of these labels you guys And hopefully these gnats will start dying down. I had a serious problem with gnats. Um, I don't know. I guess it's the fungus gnat or the fruit fly, one or the other. But I know they 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 are are they are in my banana plant, and I'm not sure if my banana plant gonna be able to survive all of that, especially with that severed piece. It's probably laying eggs all in there. So I might have to, I may have to get me another banana tree. I'm not sure how that's going to pan out, y'all. So here's another one. Not sure what that is. Oh, shoot, she be breaking up. I'm going to, I'm going to leave her be, but I see some seeds. So what I'm going to do is put the seeds in here. And I'm not going to bury those too far in. I'm just going to leave that be. But there was still seeds in there, so there might be some life. Okay, so I'm going to show you another thing that I noticed. And that could be because they were too close together. I'm not sure how far apart these should be. We're going to get her down in there. Give her some stability. So, let me 
show y'all right now what happened. So look, it could be because they were too close together, I don't know. But they started, the roots started to attach to each other. So that's another thing that I didn't like. And the roots was coming out of the, the strip of the, the, heat, the layer of the skin. That down there. Probably gonna wind up with about six trays of seedlings. But as you can see, the ones on that end look like they they're gonna survive. But these that were over here, they was just awful. We'll have some survivors, you guys. See? Let me show y'all. And I'm literally having to pry them apart. Let me show y'all. Y'all see that? They are stuck together. So these little peat pellets, you do not want to be using these. I don't know if you're supposed to how far apart they should be, but um, you do not want to be using those. So, I'm going to finish up trying to save these few that's on this tray. And I'm probably going to wind up with probably three more trays over here with the red cup. And I'll bring you guys a finished um, video of that. And again, I'm not even sure what it, what's all in here because my labeling has gotten messed up. I think on that side is pretty much what I will know is growing on that end. look for you guys and I'll see you in a few okay family this is Essie the Gardener I'm back with my uh, finished um, so called up potting with my round one of seedlings that I told you were struggling in the small peat uh, pellets so I up potted them with some starter soil and what I'm gonna do is actually um, give them some sterile water I'm gonna give them a drink of water but I'm gonna use this this super thrive kelp and I'm gonna be using this a lot in um, in the garden this year as far as the transplant they said this is very good when you're transplanting um, your uh, your seedlings and it says useful transplanting and maintenance for all horticultural and agricultural needs help helps roots develop uh, reduce transplant shock that's one of the reasons why I'm using this transplant shock and even for older and larger trees builds plant bigger um, landscapers best friend so yeah you guys this is another reason why I got the super thrive so being that I had to take them out of the peat the tiny peat pellets I'm gonna add some of this in some of my sterile water and give them a good drink so that they can be um, strengthened up so I'm just gonna add uh, let's see what is this uh, tables a tablespoon and I'm gonna add two a little bit goes a long way I'm gonna get my um my watering uh, pots from down at the grow straight grow station and um, wash them out real good because they've been sitting all season long and make sure I get all the the bad bacteria is out of there before I start to use them but um this is sterile water I try to boil pots of water every day but because our chlorine in my in my water in my house is really really bad so I have like gallons of water just sitting so that the chlorine can evaporate out but yeah you guys so I just wanted to bring that to you so I did poke holes in all of my um, cups so they'll begin to drink from the bottom and get this uh, starter mix saturated and they should hopefully they'll be off to a good start but um, I was able to uh, salvage 30 seedlings I'm not even sure which one is which 
Um, some of them I'm familiar with the leaves, so I know my tomatoes. I know which ones are, um, how you call it, beans. But like these right here, I don't know what this is. I'm thinking this is corn. Uh, so yeah, you guys, I just wanted to bring that update to you. And again, um, definitely get you some of this uh, Super Thrive. There you go. And I also have another type of Super Thrive, but you hook it up to the hose and you can, you know, mist your plants and spray your plants down with it that way. Um, but yeah, Super Thrive, you guys. So very good for transplants. So, okay, you guys, that is my work for the day. I am beat. Uh, I'm going to sit out and enjoy the sunset. And um, yeah, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed all this information today. I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Essie the Gardener. Peace, love, and light. Like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification button. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.